Okay, today we're in a Fent 933, hooked to an Amazon Catros. What can you tell me about her? Uh, we got the Fent 933 with the CVT transmission, the constant velocity transmission. Okay. Uh, we'll uh, take off here. And so what's this thing weigh? She's heavy. We got about 5,000 pounds of weight on the front end of the thing. Okay. Uh, okay. Part of that is because we don't have, uh, we have the super singles on it. Yep. And uh, if you have the duals on the back, it kind of helps support the weight. You don't sure. have to worry about quite so much weight out front. Yep. Uh, with the with the fat, the typical configuration is uh, is to have the, the super singles on the back. It doesn't give you so quite as much stability uh, okay. on that wide tire. Well, she sure rides nice. We got air ride cab and, uh, and the independent suspension on the front. Okay. So that was all supported with a three-point hitch. Yep. And we like to be about about uh, 10 miles an hour. Uh, you can go anywhere from 8 to 12. 10 is kind of the sweet spot. Pretty much and with the planter ready all, finish out there. Yep. All the depth control is based off of the three point. Uh, and then you can adjust, there's a hydraulic cylinders that adjust your roller off the back yep. so that you can uh, determine how much of, uh, how, how firm you want your soil to be uh, for planting next, you know, say in the spring. Okay. So we can adjust it so that we have more down pressure or less. You also rent these out too, don't you? Yep. How many of these do you have? Uh, we have three or four sitting in the sitting on the lot. Okay. This one you can rent it out with or without the tractor, either way. Okay. Uh, you know, the tool on the back, brand new, is fifty-four thousand. Okay. Uh, give or take, with with what options you have. On them. Uh, each blade is uh, each blade is independent of one another. Sure. So they'll float across the ground. Uh, if you hit a rock, the whole the whole gang doesn't come up. Just that one, just that one blade comes up to go over the rock. Uh, that's why you, you see it's it's consistent across the entire. There's no you're not missing the low spots of the ground uh, okay. because. Those, each one of those gives a little bit, and it allows the, the entire ground to be covered with the, with the disc. Okay. So tell me a little bit about the fence tractor. It's, uh, well, like we said before, it's got the CVT transmission. Uh, okay. it's got How hard is that to operate? Uh, it's... It's not hard at all uh, once you, you get an understanding for it. It's different than a, than a typical machine in the U.S. Uh, what we're what we're you know what we're used to. Okay. Uh, everything is for the most part right here on your on your joystick. Uh, our three point is run off the side here. This is your depth control. Uh, hit that button for your down. And then your speed is all run through the joystick. Your hydraulics are right here. So if we want to make any hydraulic adjustments, we just bump this button up or this button up for okay. our different hydraulic controls. How, how do you change between remotes? Uh, this is going to be one remote. This is going to be your second remote. And you can okay. set it up so that any of these two are on the on okay. the joystick. So okay. we can set it up so that at, you know number one and number two are up here. We can tell it. Through okay. the computer, whichever, it, wh or whatever you do, like one and three, or one and three, or whatever. Okay. Uh, it comes from the factory set up on one and two. Okay. Uh, okay. And then you can adjust them if you want to. As far as your cruise control, uh, we uh, 
we set our cruise control, we use this dial here, we can adjust our cruise control, and then you just bump the lever over once, and it goes to the speed that you have it set at. Okay. So that's that's really the bulk of it right there. Once you get your speed control set up and your hydraulics set up where you want them, uh, and then if you want to slow down, you pull back on the lever. If you want to speed up faster okay. or slower. What's uh, the other ball? This is your other, your the two hydraulics that are run here. Okay. You can have the other two run off in this ball. Okay. So if you if you want a loader on here or something like that, okay, you can set up your uh, you can set up your loader so that it's right through. Okay. Right through this here, you know everything, all your controls. So it's pretty much right loader here. ready. Yep. Uh, this button here, say we're moving at two miles an hour and we want to go in reverse, you just hit that button, it automatically takes care of it for you. Oh, that was and smooth. It's, it's going to go, it's going to take you in reverse at whatever speed you were going. Okay. Uh, and vice versa. If so you're going, going 13 reverse, miles an hour and, and you hit that button, it's going to take you that fast in reverse. Really? So we're going four miles an hour in reverse, I'll hit the button forward, it'll slow down to a stop and take us back up to that four miles an hour in the wow. other direction. Yep. Which makes it really convenient for something like this when you're when you're at the end, at the headland and you got to turn around and, and yeah, make that corner. It was nice. Nice tracker. Once you get the hang of it, you'll. Now this is an in independent front suspension? Yep, independent front suspension. Um, and then the, the cab is all air, right? Uh, okay. it's, what about, what about uh, oh, emissions? What, what tier is this motor? This is tier, this is tier four. Tier four? Okay, so do you have to use the, the DEF? Yep, this uses the DEF. Okay. Well, thanks for giving me the ride. This is uh, this was a neat experience. No problem. Nice tracker.